the Z3986 made in the USA I believe it's called the street scalpel so what we got here today is a, a, a tops knife and honestly that's my first tops knife <laughs> you see the thickness here I don't know why my camera doesn't want to focus. Maybe it needs a neutral ba pants background. Anyway, I've been uh, thinking of pairing this knife up with uh, my other survival knife, the survival striker. And I want to do a, a survival, uh, some, some kind of uh, custom Kydex case with a uh, two or three knives in it and I don't know what the term is for it but it, you wear it around your uh, your sh your body it's it's like a, a sling with a knife sheath uh, a bundle of knife sheaths um, like it's not a one knife sheath with two to three knives in it like usually you have a larger knife a medium-sized knife and a little small knife and that could be a small pocket knife and it clips into the kydex um, but I, I'm thinking about adding this to it but I haven't um, fully uh, tested it and uh, carried it uh, I got this on eBay and um, you know the the kydex sheath it it's 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 not good i don't know if it, it was form formed fitted wrong but this knife doesn't lock in here Let's see if i can uh i mean i it's 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 almost falls out Let's see if i can shake it off well it's not shaking enough but it almost is you see it's almost out of there so I wouldn't trust the uh, this sheath with I, would, it. I would go to look for the knife and I'm like oh I, I dropped it somewhere while hiking <laughs> so so I, I, I definitely knew uh, definitely knew if I like it I need a new uh, sheath for it let's test this whistle I, I Let's test this whistle. <laughs> it's it's pretty cool. I don't know what it this whistle is called, but I like it. I would probably wouldn't use uh, leave it on the sheath. It just came with that, and I haven't taken it off. So I think that uh, sheath uh, every tops knife comes with a whistle. Maybe I don't know. Anyway. I like the I like the way the knife looks. Um, I, I I like how it feels in the hand with the the jimping up below in the end uh, above. Um, if I have large hands, not huge, large, and it fits my hands. Yeah, I I would trust this knife in a fight. <laughs> Hopefully I will never have to have a fight, but so anyway, I'm going to continue my review. I'll do some cutting with it uh, and uh, inside because I, it looks like it's about to storm out here. So, all right, Wastelanders, uh, I'll see you back at home. Bye bye. Okay, part two. From uh, the review I started in in the park, um, I'm back uh, at home, and since this 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 part one was shot like uh, two weeks ago, and when I got home, I looked up how to fix this uh, Kydex, and I went to the Tops website. Well, it was a fact. <laughs> 
on how to fix this Kydex. So it's quite in here securely now. Um, it, it used to almost fall out. <laughs> but basically, Ky uh, Tops recommended heating the uh, Kydex up, like not to the melting point, but pretty, pretty, uh, to, to get it soft. They say to go in and take out the knife and let it cool and when i let it cool it was almost hard to get in so that's that's cool it, it it's harder to get in and it it holds it more securely now so yeah that's cool um but they recommended a heat gun and a, or a hair dryer I have neither, so I use <laughs> my stove top. I have electric stove, and I just heated up a burner to max, and I very, very carefully held, held it maybe, I don't know, six or seven inches from the burner, and it, 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 took, it took less than maybe 30 seconds to get it soft, and then like I explained, the, I did the process of reshaping it around the the, hand, uh, the handle of the knife, and then took the knife out and let it cool, and it was fixed. So, anyway, to make a long story short, I have a working Kydex hoster now. So it was a, as what I was saying. I want to pair it up with this knife. The Winkler um, survival survival striker. You can see it. It, it compares in the size. It's a nice companion. So I'm going to try to find a picture of what I want. But Black Bear Custom Kydex. I'll link in the description. He makes these wonderful Kydex hosters that fit three and four knives. It all in one holster. I mean, he 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 will attach a a small holster to a big holster, but he melds it in there. It's it's almost like it's almost like one one holster that holds three knives. So he, he you can have huge knives, a medium knife, and a much smaller knife. And I've seen him use pocket knives. Add a pocket knife to this too. Um, and I got my scale today. I'm just curious. I've always been curious of what this knife, uh, this Winkler knife weighs. So I'm about to find out. I think this scale works up to 11 pounds. So I'm... Okay. It's 12 ounces, 12.4 uh, ounces. What does this knife, uh, small knife weigh? 4.3 ounces. Uh, find out what this pocket knife weighs. 4.2 ounces. So it's a little bit heavier than this. And for a, a change, I'm gonna I'm gonna weigh some bullets. As a as a comparison, I, I've never seen this done, but if you're a uh, willing to carry a certain amount of bullets. So this knife weighs as much as 10 bullets. When you compare it uh, to a bullet, 10 bullets, it doesn't seem quite as heavy. So guys, um, I'm not going to go over much detail or a, a review on this knife because it's it's not like it's a new knife but I wanted to just share this knife um, and share my thoughts on uh, com uh, doing a compare uh, a, a companion for a carry a mediums medium-sized knife 
you probably would call that a large size knife but um, in a survival situation it's it's really not a large size knife I consider it a medium size knife maybe I'm wrong but I consider it that a medium size knife and this is a little knife so all right If you've, if you've seen me cutting this cardboard before, this, uh, this knife goes through it like butter. Um, guys, I, uh, just found out today I have 148 videos. I, I've made 148 videos. Not all about knives. I, I, I imagine I've made a uh 130 36 videos about knives that's incredible so this is my 149th video and i'm gonna make a 150th video uh something special just mainly for me um i want my 150 video um about a knife brand i've is a first for me I've never owned this knife brand ever. This what? brand has been along around a long time and uh, it's pretty popular, but, but I can't believe I've never owned this brand. So, and I don't know if you be impressed with the knife that I'm gonna do my 150th video on, but I, when I saw it, I had to have it. So it impressed me enough to buy a uh, a knife for the brand that I've never owned before so I'm not going to tell you what it is but you c if you've seen enough videos you can probably piece together a brand that I've never owned and I've never shown on the channel I mean you can knock it down to leak two or three brands but anyway so take care wastelanders and have a good weekend and have a good thanksgiving i probably won't post again for until next week i my daughter's coming into town and i'm going over my sisters for thanksgiving and i i just probably won't be doing videos for five or six days so Take care and have a happy Thanksgiving and peace. Bye-bye.